Welcome everyone to another redstone tutorial and today I'm going to do a tutorial about an enchanting room. Now just to take note this is not going to be a particularly hard tutorial because it's really simple to build but it's also really efficient even though the options are limited for this one. So um, they've got two designs here this one has just needs just a bit more resource but is a bit more compact than that one as you can see I'm using sticky pistons with the redstone blocks and over here I'm using um, different sorts of ways to um, continue the redstone now when you stand right here uh, in front of the enchanting room you can see there are no bookshelves of course th they are underneath the ground and um what the thing what what the nice thing is when you flick this lever you can see we've got a, a line of bookshelves coming up and um we can put our book in and as you can see mostly it's level 10 it's a level 10 enchantment now what's nice is you when you have level 30 you can see all those bookshelves coming up and even though the options are limited because it's level 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 it's actually quite efficient. So it works quite nicely um, and the redstone is really easy so I'm just gonna uh, build it real quick and just to show you guys and so you can use this in your survival world. So before we're going to do any of the redstone we're first going to do our layout which is a room of 3x3 three three with an enchanting table in the middle and then over here is going to be our entrance and then we're going to build a wall all around just like this like that and then we're going to place levers oops like this it is 5 10 15 20 25 30 and um that is the layout done now we're going now you can continue to the redstone so now we need to place the sticky pistons and those sticky pistons need to be two blocks down just like this and all the way around so I'll just do a jump cut there you go and I just noticed that this lever is supposed to be right there <laughs> sorry for that and now we can place our bookshelves on top of these sticky pistons there you go Alright, so far this design can be changed into one of those and I'm going to build this one because it's the most um, the most cheapest way to do this so you probably use this in survival well I would use it because it's, it's the cheapest way um, but this one um, I'm just going to fly around later just to show you how it works and I will do that later because then you know how the system works so that's probably easier to understand so the redstone is quite weird for this one because there need to be uh, needs to, needs to be a line just like this and place redstone on it. But if we place two blo blocks over here, we can't power them separately, as you can see. So what I did was quite a weird way, but it was the easiest. So I just went with it. Um, I placed blocks like this, so now you can power those um, those lines separately. And then I went, just went up like this and placed redstone dust on it. So now you can see that those three bookshelves will be pushed up. For the yellow circuit, we're just going to place uh, two blocks like this with redstone dust on them. Two blocks like this and a half slab like this with a repeater. And then redstone dust right there. So you can see that these three p uh, bookshelves will be pushed up. But they also need to power those pistons at the back. So what we need to do is connect those up with a repeater, a repeater. So now the signal won't, um, uh, it won't carry on the signal to this yellow bit when this is powered because it's the other way around. For the line bit, we're just going to place blocks like this, and a repeater right there with two redstone dust like this, a block out like this, and two blocks like this and place rest on dust so now you can see that those bookshelves will be pushed up and then we need to place blocks like this and place redstone right there see as you can see it's a really weird way to do this but 
um, I, I really think this is the easiest way so now your blocks will be like this place redstone dust right here as you can see this one has got no this redstone dust right here hasn't got any use right now but we'll get to that later place a repeater right there uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to place a block like this and a block like this and two redstone dust like this so now you can see those will be powered and then to continue we're going to place a block like this two blocks like that actually a repeater and then our um, orange circuit just like this place redstone li right like this and then um, sort of an uh, O a hole in the middle and we're going to place a repeater like this with two redstone dust so as you can see again everything will be powered right now and for the last bit we're just going to place uh, let me get that block uh, the purple line and we're going to place blocks just like this and our um, repeater in between place blocks like this and then up like this and that is going to be not working because it needs another extra block like actually never mind <laughs> sorry that was like this when you power everything uh, when you power this lever everything will be powered so um that was quite a chaotic um, tutorial i'm sorry for that but i don't think this could have been explained easily uh, i'm just going to explain the redstone circuit right now um, all the lines are uh, powered and the repeater will pre uh, prevent um, the line the, the the redstone signal to carry on to the back only to the front so when you flick this lever only these will be powered because it will only power um, clockwise so yeah that's really neat now for this one is really easy you can see that all you need to do all there what happens is uh, a piston that's pushing down um, and power these this this line and that will power those pistons so that that's for all of them as you can see if you want to build it I'll just fly around for a bit and you can see what's going on so yeah so I hope you like this um, it's really useful in survival um, I hope you have a good use for it and um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.